Welcome back, everyone, to the Island of Misfit Toy Collectors. Dreadnought Ryan here. It's been a little while since I've done an update for G.I. Joe. And with March and April already being busy with a number of updates from Super 7, Mezco to Hasbro. So let's go ahead and look at some of the updates. First off, Hasbro will be bringing back window packaging, uh, moving away from the windowless packaging for their six-inch action figure lines. This affects not only G.I. Joe, but Power Rangers, Marvel Legends, and the Star Wars Black Series. So they must have been listening to collectors when they were asking to bring back some of the window packaging. I hope we do get to st still see some of the amazing artwork uh, that has come with the G.I. Joe Classified series uh, and still continue to have the window packaging uh, so that we can continue to have the amazing box art uh, created by some amazing artists that help really separate this G.I. Joe line from anything else out there. So be on the lookout in 2024. We'll start to see our figures in packaging. I know this is great for folks who do figure hunts. Um, I Me mean, personally, I order my stuff online just due to the fact that I only have a one Target and one Walmart uh, in my general area, and they cover a large section of of uh, territory, if you will. Uh, so most of the time when you do go shopping at those stores, they are picked over just because of so many collectors in the area. So, But for folks who have multiple Targets or Walmarts in your area, hopefully this means you'll be able to see what those figures look like and not have any figure swaps or paint issues or just you know missing products so be on the lookout 2024 should be a great year for gi joe thanks to artist shark for providing some leaked uh, classified uh code words uh for recent listings in the retailers um, computers systems so we know that we will be getting the full wave of gi joe classified series we'll also get a retro carded series vehicles with drivers holy cow as well as a 60th anniversary celebration so we can look through and do a whole bunch of guessing on possibly what this can be and this is exactly what i'm going to do these are complete guesses but i'm hoping i'm hoping 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 that dastardly pet is mutton junkyard which makes me think that possibly Captain Caveman could be the Snow Servant. Uh, it is it looks to be a deluxe figure, and that would match up to what we've already seen with Snow Job. But that could also be a completely other figure that we don't think about. Uh, Buttercup, Velma, and Scrappy, I have no clue. I'm hoping that those are the figures that were revealed through the pipeline name reveal. Uh, for the classified vehicles, I'm assuming that one of those has to be the flight pod with Televiper. Uh, but for the other two, I am not sure. It would be nice if we do get some updates as we get closer to GI uh, Joe June. But it's nice to know that there will be vehicles joining the line that are not just through crowdfunding or through the Hazlab product. The GI Joe Classified 60th Anniversary Series, no telling again what we could see. See with this, it could be a callback to the old 12 inch GI Joe figures, which I think would be awesome, or possibly to Joe Colton, Colton or to even GI Jane. Um, but just be on the lookout. Nice to know that we're still celebrating all these great anniversaries, and it just shows you how long this particular line has been around. Now, with the classified retro carded series, it's nice to see that these are being brought back. I know they were once at Walmart. So with Walmart now taking on Night Force, I'm assuming that these will either be fan channel or Hasbro Pulse exclusives. Looking at what the possibly retro carded uh, characters could be, you do have Smurfette, Puppa, and Gargamel. Nice callback to the Smurfs. I'm guessing that Gargamel has to be Cobra Commander. Uh, we did not get a retro-styled Cobra Commander as of yet, but we do know that we are getting a version of this with the HasLab, his tank, with the Mickey Mouse Cobra logo. This makes me think that we'll get just a regular Cobra Commander in the classic style uh, with the regular Cobra sigil on his chest. Smurfette, I'm going to guess, has to be Scarlet. Um, we've already had a Baroness retro-carded, uh, Lady J retro carded. And then of course, cover girl and Zorana have both recently come out. Um, and I think with cover girl, it's too early to have a retro card of her. Um, so that leads me to believe that Smurfette has to be, I'm hoping a classically styled Scarlet, um, which will help fill a lot of collectors requests for getting more of that classic Scarlet look. And that 
means that I'm hoping that Papa is a more classic styled Duke. Uh, we did get the Redeco Duke from Wave 1, as well as the Tiger Force Duke. But those are all repaints of that initial G.I. Joe uh, Series 1 Duke, which had the gold uh, knee pads and the shin guards. So hopefully we get something more of a classic looking Duke uh, to fit in. Again, this is just speculation. I don't have any inside information. Um, I'm just hoping that this is what we do get to see with some of these. But I think 2024 should be a really fun year uh, to see what we have coming out. Uh, maybe we might even see a Thunder Machine. Who knows? want to give a big shout out to uh, His Tank. Uh, they did provide uh, updated pictures of the Tiger Force Dusty. We already know that we're going to get a... Uh, Python Patrol Crimson Guard. So Target should see these two figures, I'm assuming, sometime in 2023, uh, as we are seeing some of them already out in the wild in the world. Um, Dusty, again, is just a repaint of the uh, Dusty that came out in the main line. Uh, it looks like accessories, everything is still the same. Uh, just the only difference, again, is just some of the paint scheme. Um, I hope Gridiron does come out with something that I'll be able to give Dusty a little bit more of an update. More to come. And Super 7 news. For those reaction figure line collectors, Super 7 did a nice callback to an old Sunbow cartoon where Baroness, Cobra Commander, and of course Destro are trying to escape after another failed plan. Uh, ruined at the hands of G.I. Joe. You get Cobra Commander dressed as a bag lady, of course Baroness as a nurse, and Destro as a construction worker. This set you can order on Super7.com, and it is running $65. Ultimate Wave 4 has been released, and while I have not picked up any of these particular figures, I have seen a number of folks that have picked up Wave 1 and have been quite happy. They're nice throwbacks to the old Sunbow cartoon series, and of course they do come loaded with tons of different little diet pieces or slash accessories, whatever you would like to call them. And this wave is no different. Also, if you do buy all four figures, you can get the super pack, uh, which looks to be more weapons and accessories. A nice throwback again to the old uh, Real American Hero, where you could buy the weapons kits to replace any of those guns you lost to either to the carpet monster or to the backyard monster. Gung Ho comes with a number of cool little accessories from the Wolverine tank. Uh, from when he was caught playing with them uh, during one of the Sunbow episodes. Zartan comes with the little watch and the bomb uh, from the episode. I believe it was Countdown to something. Uh, but again, it's a nice homage to those uh, cartoons. Uh, Zartan will also change color in the sun. Stalker comes with the purple jet pack, the dynamite pack, uh, the timer explosive uh, control controller, binoculars, and a number of different weapons. And again, he looks great. It is a straight homage to the Skawker from the Sunbow era cartoon. And then, of course, Baroness gets a more classic look, and she comes absolutely loaded with different accessories from a number of different Sunbow episodes. I think for anybody who likes to collect those little extras, she's going to be an absolute home run. So Super 7 doing some great work. Again, these are $55. You can order them from super7.com. Again, there it takes about a year for these to get out. So uh, just understand that it will take some time before you'll see these actually in hand. And a nice throwback to anybody who watched WrestleMania last week. Uh, nice homage to G.I. Joe as John Cena came out. And Deco that looked awfully familiar for a lot of us G.I. Joe fans. Um, and the You Can't See Me and the G.I. Joe logo style, as well as the uh, explosive front cover. Uh, and then on the back of his uh, T-shirt that you could purchase, um, he did have a nice little call out of all the different personas that John Cena has played over the years in WWE, all will still coming with a file card. So just a nice call out to all the G.I. Joe collectors out there. John Cena, I can see you, buddy. In Mezco news, Storm Shadow has been revealed. Mezco has rolled out some uh, great pictures of their 112th scale Storm Shadow figure. 
as well as all the accessories that you can expect with this particular figure. He is $95 if you order him from Mezco. You can also get him at BBTS. Um, again, my only hang up with these Mezco figures is we've had, um, let's see, Firefly, Snake Eyes, Destro, and Roadblock all revealed, and now Storm Shadow, yet we don't have any of these in hand, and then we are moving on two years now uh, from when Destro was even revealed. So I think until Mezco starts getting these delivered, they're going to see these slowly ordered, um, if not ordered at all, just because of not having product to market. And these figures are expensive at, you know, 90 plus dollars a pop. Um, you do, it gets tiring waiting a year plus for some of these pre-orders to come through, especially when you're not getting the updates on when you might see these. This figure looks absolutely amazing. The accessories that he comes with, it's absolutely crazy. The unmasked head sculpt, all the different hands, the figure stands, the swords, the throwing stars, the... Um, bow and arrow, it's just an absolute home run for this particular figure. But again, I think it all comes back to people are still waiting for that first wave of figures. And until we see those, I don't see these moving too quickly. So that is all. Uh, I want to send a big shout out to all the Island Misfit Toy Collector subscribers. I can't do this without you guys. And I will be announcing a $25 Amazon gift card giveaway since we did hit 500 subscribers. I will be posting something on the community tab. Uh, just give you the uh, rules of the road, if we would, uh, letting you know how you can get registered to win this uh, gift card. I think this is the best way of getting some love out to the subscribers, um, just depending on where you're at in the world. Uh, so be on the lookout for that soon. Again, thank you, everyone. I hope you guys are having a great day evening or morning, wherever you're at on the island of Misfit Toy Collectors. And remember, yo, Joe.